All right, ladies. So I'm going to show you the uh, look that I had so many people asking me about the other day that nobody's worn blue for, well, since the 80s. Uh, but I put it on the other day and I really did like it and it, it seems like a lot of you liked it too so I'm going to show you how to recreate it so if you want to do this look what you're going to go and pull out are four pigments and you're going to have the pigment playful angelic confident and devious that's the four that you're going to pull out so that you can do this look at home. Um, and I'm telling you, angelic, confident, and devious should be in everybody's kit, no matter uh, what kind of looks you're doing. Those are those are go-tos. You have to have those in there. And then you can play around with all the colors that you want. So, um, when you get started, of course, always using the glorious underneath. Uh, we're getting ready for, uh, me and my daughter are having girls night out tonight. So, uh, figure I'd get mine all done and I can show you guys what, uh, steps I put in to do this look. I had so many people ask me about it and once I put it on, I really liked it too. Um... Before I started Unique, I never wore anything but neutrals because I didn't know how to do colors or anything else. So, um, now I'm getting a little braver and um, learning that not a lot of other people know exactly what to do. So, we kind of learn together. Uh, one big thing you got to have is eye primer. Um, ours is amazing. Does not take much at all. Little bitty bit on each eye because you don't want you don't want to feel you know what I mean you don't want to feel this this shouldn't be um, anything like that so all you do is touch it in there give it a minute or two you know just to set in it's kind of a, a skin tone so you're not gonna see anything weird it kind of helps to conceal in there anyway so Whatever face of makeup you're using, all over primer, and you gotta have a special eye primer. Um, so, give it just a second or two to mm -hmm. sing because you want that to set really well. Got a hair on my finger. <laughs> so, you want that to set really, really well. So, um, I decided to show you guys a couple of little tricks in um, this video. Oh, good, sunshine's coming out again. So, I have a little more. Um, so, I know you guys are all crazy for a liquid foundation. And sometimes, um, I'm one of those people that gets stuck between shades. Just happens, does. Um, so, um, when I'm really nice and tanned, um, I can use taffeta. But, for right now, taffeta is the slightest bit too dark. And when I put it on... Um, the yellow really stands out against my skin. So, the next step down is Velour. So, Velour alone uh, is a closer match, but when I put this on, it shows up that it's pretty light against my skin tone. So, I'm going to show you how to get in between these. So, um, I have a lot of people, and, and specifically... Um, between these two because this is the step this is velour and this come this is one of your, your first lighter ones um out that has yellow undertones and because i'm neutral or cool i don't have any red tones so i don't have really any warmth in my skin so i go from here and then the shades jump to here well i'm kind of stuck in the middle so it's not easy to lighten these up, but it's easy to darken these up. And because we all love the mix, what you're going to do is you're going to get velour and show you guys the magic here. 
So make sure these are shaken really well because um, they lay in my kit for a while and um, kind of settle over to the side. So all I'm getting is a little bit of allure on my hand. So then I'm going to pull out the concealer or touch concealer in taffeta. And all I'm going to do is Give it a little shot right over to the side. That's it. So mix it. Still about, still not used to you guys uh, only being able to use half of a screen. Uh, mix it up a little bit. I got a little bit too much. Won't take me that near that much. Um, so I pull out our foundation brush, and all I'm gonna do is use that as my palette. I get a little, and I apply. And for me, um, I don't even have to blend a whole lot with this. It's just the, the coverage is there, and then you're adding that uh, extra little boost of concealer in there that uh, there's no real blending necessary because um, you can tell how much of that next shade you need to kind of mix in there. Covers things over really nicely. I forgot my mirror and my light, so. I knew something looked off there. So for me, I know that Ballora is the closest for me. Um, so I just kind of add a little bit of taffeta to it just to um, give it just enough warmth that it blends into my skin. And what I like about our foundation brush is I can go right in here and I don't have to worry about a bristle hitting me in the eye or, you know, anything else. Uh, it's tapered. Just really nice to get into these spots that sometimes you'll miss with the bigger brushes. And always, you know, blend it out down your neck. That's one of your big key points. Because I always see the lady with where her foundation stops right here and then her neck's a completely different color. So what you're doing is matching up to your skin tone. You're not creating a new skin tone at all. And if you're like me and you have this little spot here, um, what I suggest doing, um, I haven't been so bad uh, but you can take a concealer that's a lighter color, um, scarlet, or even the, um, if you're using like the taffeta for your foundation, go back under here with velour or something like that. You get a little highlight, but you're also lightening all that up and you're doing your highlighting at the same time. So uh, sometimes I go back with a little touch of just velour and sometimes I'll go back with a little bit of scarlet if I'm, you know, one of those days and I'm just needing it a little uh, more. So guys, all I'm doing is brushing right off the side of my arm to put over. And so you can tell that that matches my neck and everything a lot closer than if I was to just use velour. So sometimes you get stuck between um, those shades and then all it is wipe my hand off a little bit with a paper towel and you're set to go. So I would have been wipe it all over the side of my clothes or have a big blotch there as it dries. So um, I'm one of those crazy people that I feel like I'm not complete until I use my powder. So I'm going to go all over with this. You may not want to use it uh, because our liquid foundation dries to a powder but I don't know. 
I just like the way this one feels on my skin too. So I like to go over and uh, I actually use the taffeta in the powder. So uh, it just helps to give it that little bit of extra color that I need. So you can go lighter on the concealer when you're doing that. So. No, I don't think so. Uh, I know I've been promising and promising and promising, hey, I'm going to do the, the blue look from the other day, so, uh, and I always wind up throwing a couple of extra things in there, too, so, <laughs> I know I always show you that guys that, but this is how long this stuff lasts, this is like our original ones that we had before the press ones ever came out and I'm still using on it. So, now, okay, tools that you guys are gonna need. Let me make sure I have all the brushes pulled out. You're gonna want to pull out your liner shader brush. You're going to want to pull out two crease brushes and if you guys have watched my video you know why I got two pre crease brushes but I'll show you here in just a second so of those then you're also going to pull out uh, yeah you can have way more than one of everything uh, then you're going to pull out your deluxe brush so you're gonna have four your liner shader, your deluxe, two crease brushes. So, now, what I want you to do, I'm going to get a little bit closer. One day I'm going to get professional enough to have a nice light <laughs> that it all works together. So, all of our brushes. Yeah, pigments I told you to go and grab. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to an old pigments. Yep. We're going old school. Gosh, seems like it was forever ago when we were using pigments. Um, but for those of you who haven't been around with Unique in a long time, this is what we started out with. We started out with our dry pigments um, and... Uh, Comparable to a couple other companies out there, but um, ours is the best. <laughs> so, what you're going to start out with is that liner shader brush I told you about. So, this one is a little bit smaller. If you want to um, see the difference compared to our deluxe brush, which would be more for almost really all over. Um, this is going to give you a little more of a precise area. You're going to control it more. You're not going to have as much, uh, like with these, you're going to get the dusties, you know, when we do that. So this one is a little more controlled. They're a little more compact. So when you pull out your playful pigment, isn't that pretty though? Um, you're going to get a little bit and don't be scared of getting too much right now that's where your blending comes in so you can get a little on your brush it's this really pretty blue color and all you're gonna do is put it on the lid just right in here And for me, since I have like a more of a hazel, they're, gosh, almost green now. It actually gives my eyes kind of this uh, slater, gray kind of uh, look. So, just want a nice layer. And I've become a big patter, I guess. I don't really swipe. 
So, you just want a good layer of that on. So, um, now you're going to go over and I'll show you. I put the primer on. Uh, do, 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 do. Always have this one and then glorious all over, but I have the eye primer on here. So, this is just the uh, pigment. Just the playful I've put on so far. So, set that over to the side, and you're going to go over and, uh, for me, I go my Confident first. Confident is something I always use. You're welcome. Confident is always something that I use in the crease. It's just one of my go-tos. I've always liked it. Um, I do play with Devious, but I don't start out with Devious because, uh, like I said, even with the foundation, it's easier to darken up a little bit than it is to light, pull it back and lighten it up. So, the reason you always see me with two, I use one to apply and one to blend. So, I use Confident. This is really pretty shimmery bronze color. And what I'll do is get just a little bit. And I give myself a couple little dots right here. I'm not going to go with the brush that I just dipped straight into the pigment and start this. Because that's how you wind up getting way too much stuff. So I'm going to just give a little bit here. So then I switch. I go to my clean one or... The, not the one that I straight dipped in there. So I pull over to my clean one. And this is where we blend. Because I'm going to now use only that amount that I put there in the corner. Um, because there could be extra in my brush. And while I'm trying to blend, I'm actually just applying more and more and more and more. Uh, by using that same brush. So, this allows me to um, control the amount that's being put on there. And, like, I don't want this bunch on there. So, as I'm blending it out, oh, the brush is a little dirty too. I always try to keep like a shine wipe or something so that I can clean the brush off a little bit because um, you can see where I've been using this one to blend. It's just got like a little extra in there and I don't want that much. So I'm just building a base with this one. Um, and you're going to go on this side. Continue the same thing. You know, you're just getting them to look even and ladies when you're doing this don't be doing you know all this stretching of your eye and you know all that you're just spreading this out Amazing how much different it looks in my mirror and on here. So, that one still looks like I got a whole lot right there in the corner. I think it's just a shadow because every time I look in the mirror, it's gone. So, um, this is where I would normally go back with um, my little brush. And I'm going to refresh this just a little bit because you lose a little bit of the color when um, 
you're blending this out and then we're going to go back and we're going to make the smoky part a little darker just to give it a little more I think a little more dramatic um, and then wait that way if you have any fading during the night the evening or whatever else you know so two or three of these around if one happens to have blended something the day before I'll grab another one so they're always clean um, so when I did this one um, I always do like I said the confidence to start out with and then I'll close that one up put it over here and this is where um, your eyebrows become very, very, very important. So, it's the only thing I didn't pull out. So, highlighting doesn't really show up too much if I don't have my eyebrows done. <laughs> go over it the brush because yeah it helps put your eyebrows where you want them but it also helps you to blend that pencil so you don't look drawn on so get that one done um, now jump over and grab your deluxe brush um, I know that a lot of us uh, like to use Sexy um, and a couple of other tho those for highlighting, uh, but one of the ones I've recently started to use is Angelic. So Angelic is, it's really yellow, but when it goes on, it's a really pretty shimmery light golden color. And this is what I choose. To go right under here and you'll see that it's just a really nice shimmer right under there and it helps highlight the brow bone and it helps to um, yeah not leave you with that big spot up here because you really need something to fill it in you're doing all this dramatic stuff down here so you have to have that tr transition up you don't want to just go with nothing up there so now what I like to do is um, I've done my smoky a little bit my crease with it now I come back to my devious see I would never start with this because I can easily get way too much devious and uh, it's not gonna be that easy to take off so I would pull back over to the same one that I applied my confident with and I'm going to just barely pick up a little bit of the devious and you're going to want to make sure you kind of dust it off because you're not going to want a whole lot and you can immediately see the color change here so you dust it in there just a little bit Grab one of those clean ones so you can do your blending and go to whatever point you want your smoky to be. So when I darken that up, you see it a little more than you can this one. Um, Like I said, I don't ever start out with the devious. I start out with something lighter. 
and then I can gradually darken it up if I want to. Uh, just be careful with the devious that you don't have too much on your brush. It's not that easy to lighten things back up. So you get it into whatever uh, color you want and then um, a lot of times I'll just come back in and kind of add a little color right back in there. Um, you can also use this one on the bottom for just a tiny bit of color. You want to go underneath here. Um, I actually take our perfect little bit underneath there and then take that liner brush right back smudge it a little bit so you don't have that one harsh line Doesn't work great if I don't have my mouth open. <laughs> um, and of course, you could use something like Twitter mm -hmm. painted, the really dark blue in the crease, or anything like that. Uh, and of course. Pull out. I always do the liquid liner on the top. With these kind of looks, I don't normally go all the way to the perfect shade. I will go to, um, this is our powerful which is our more of a gray more of a slate and just give it a little bit right by the lash line I'm not looking for anything dramatic with this liner I'm just looking to accent that lash line um, just a little more and now all you're gonna do is finish this one up with um, you can go back you can make uh, this even darker if you want to make the colors stand out um, anything like that's totally up to you you don't have to be afraid of getting too much in there or not enough in there or uh, you can play it with the colors in the crease um, I really like the angelic and everything but uh, this is my playful look and um, playful is one of our dry pigments jump over there and play with it um, we have a lot of gorgeous colors that are way back in all of our dry pigments so um, I will try to get back on here again and do a couple more of our dry pigments for a little fun look so I will see you guys later bye